Yeah. Are we on? Rolling. Team Catch and Cook headed down to Uncle Mark's Outpost. This is your first time seeing it. You've just first, seen photos and videos. Yeah. And everything I've seen so far, it's looked really summery and warm. And today it's clearly not that. And we're going to freeze. This is, this is probably my last trip to the outpost. It is windy. It is cold. We got a huge dump of snow yesterday. Yeah, we're launching. Josh is gonna go park the trailer elsewhere because we're staying overnight. This is our first, my first overnighter and Josh's at Uncle Mark's Outpost. Shake and cook. Catch and cook, baby. <laughs> that guy's messed it up there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bye, Josh, see you tomorrow. She cold. One of the most important things to check for on these cold days is if it is spraying out water through the impeller. I will check that. First, I'm gonna jack it up, throw my life jacket on, because I do have a floater suit as well. This uh, Eskimo suit I'm gonna be wearing, it does float, which is an added bonus, but I still like to wear a life jacket. This is it, last trip. It is November 11th, Remembrance Day. I feel very fortunate to live in a place where I can go fishing, make videos for a living. Very, very privileged. But anyways, I'm gonna throw a life jacket on because I don't wanna go swimming. All right, we got Joshua back in the boat. But we're back, it's gonna be cold. What's going on? Welcome to my shop. Uh, we are gonna go fishing today. That is part of the plan. But first, we gotta do a little work on the motor. And I got a new little toy to install. I'm a gear guy, I'm a techie guy. I, I like to think so at least. And I got something called the Vessel View Mobile. It allows my motor, my Merc Pro XS, to talk through Bluetooth to my phone. It'll tell me how many hours I got. I have no, no idea how many hours I got on my engine this motor, if it needs any sort of maintenance, all that stuff. So anyways, uh, I've never even had the cowling off of this motor. So we're gonna open it up, I'm gonna install this, and then we're gonna head out on Lake of the Woods. I think if I pull this off, we're gonna get at where I need to get at. There we go, I just pulled that off. Okay, now I'm gonna open up this part, the vessel view. This part is gonna get plugged into the motor, this female end. Go right in there. Okay, it's clipped in. And then this piece right here, I think I need to take this. I think that's gonna plug in on there. All right, popping this cap off. Hope I'm doing this right. And we're popping that Terminator cap back on. Okay, that's good. We can tuck that back in. And then this is the module. End user to remove a mask. That's me, I'm the end user. There we go. Oh, it's flashing, see that? It's flashing. Bluetooth, vessel view. All right, we're logging in. We are connected. All right, saves. Right now, the motor is going zero miles per hour. Okay, okay, how many hours would you guys guess? Comment below before we say how many hours you think I have on my engine. I've had this boat since, had this boat since April. I will say, done a couple flying trips where this motor didn't come along and I've done a decent amount of kayak fishing. That's all I got for now. Next time, we'll be on Lake of the Woods. Interruption! I tried to finish things up beforehand and came in. All right guys, so earlier this year, I got the vessel view on my motor and I downloaded the app. Now I can actually see the stats. And normally, if I need to check these things, I would have to go into a dealership to check. So there's a couple different things you can use this app for, which I think it's already paid for itself for me. But for one, it tells me how many hours I have. So I can go to the app right here, I go into maintenance, and it'll tell me that I've scheduled maintenance due in four hours. I can tap on that, it'll say, okay, in four hours, that meaning, I think that happens every 100 hours. So that means I'm at 96 hours right now, 96.4. Not sure if that's what you guys guessed. But then I should be inspecting this list of things. I should be replacing um, the oil and the gear case loops. So that's what I'm gonna do. It'll time out perfectly at the end of the season. But normally you'd bring this into a dealership, you'd pay. Now I can check and I just have an idea of what I have for hours, right? As well, it can give me a pretty good gauge on how much gas I've left in my tank. It tells me what sort of RPMs I'm running. It gives you all the readouts um, so I know, you know what's the most efficient RPM to be running. So lots of data in here. I'm just kind of scratching the surface, but just, you know, it's it's been worth it alone just to know where I'm at on the maintenance schedule and if any faults come up, then I see them. But luckily, this motor's been perfect, no faults, and um, it's been great this season. I'm excited to run again next year. But we gotta head down the lake, so we're gonna throw some goggles on. Josh is gonna bundle up and probably lay on the bottom of the boat. And next time you see us, we're gonna be at Uncle Mark's outpost.
That was a frosty ride, Josh. My camera's wet. I'm wet, we made it, but this is end times. I'm seeing icicles hanging off everywhere. I'm not sure where we're gonna park yet. Maybe beside the Stanley. Welcome. Josh brought the bow. Got the bow. Gonna sit for... Yeah, someone's been bleeding in the boat, apparently. There's blood in the boat. <laughs> Maybe they shot a deer. What a scene. What a scene, this is Joshua. Insane. What a spot. It's a cool spot, eh? Yeah, the forecast was so good to us. Oh, there's a dead goose. The forecast was so good to us. Now it finally socked in. Winter socked in. I think they might have lit the stove up. Welcome. Let's get a fog up. Yeah, you're fogged up. Come on in. Well, hello again. Hi ho. We got the fire going. All right, we're gonna get out of here because the camera's getting fogged up. So we are gonna have some fun tonight. We are putting some guys out hunting. We're putting Mark at one blind. We're putting Josh another blind. There's been deer activity. Josh and I have been hunting in the Kenora area the last couple days. Yeah, I'm excited. This is like prime rut. Yeah. Wow. Oh guys, this cabin, it has been way bigger of an undertaking than I could have ever imagined. But uh, do I regret it? No. Do I wish this summer was a little less crazy? Yes. But wow, three seasons room is all buttoned up. Look at that. Just need to do some siding on there. I'm gonna give you the full tour. We're, gonna, we're just gonna have some fun tonight. It's gonna be good. Josh and I are gonna go hunting. I'm gonna sit with him. I'll bring the rifle. He's gonna bring the bow. Josh's season only lasts till November 15th. So he's only out here a couple days to shoot a deer. Yeah, Josh is just getting ready and then we're gonna go walk into the woods. We have a blind and bait set up back here and there was one monster that showed up and I don't think it's been getting uh, hunted at all. So this is the time right now, definitely. All right, Josh. Have you shot deer in Ontario before? Nope, first time. First time. Well, I mean, one. it will be my it first yeah. time. First time hunting. I got this along just in case. I got this along just in case. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's only three. Are you living off potato chips again? No, Doritos. How many deer did you shoot tonight? None. How many deer did you shoot tonight? Well, you know, we came close. Uh, <laughs> we saw absolutely nothing. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, big goose egg. Oh, speaking of goose, what did you shoot? Oh, I got a goose. <laughs> Mark did shoot a goose. <laughs> yeah. 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 Josh is gonna cook it up Let's yet. Move. We will. Yeah, on the fire, on the wood stove. Um, this space is starting. It's it's actually. Uh, I mean, the scaffolding's in here, so it's a little bit cluttered. But we have a couple recliners that are sitting in boxes, and Mark said, "Please don't put them together. They're gonna take up too much space." Well, we're gonna put one together. Because we need some place to sleep. <laughs> one of us. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll sleep on the recliner tonight. But anyways, we got uh, we got the crew here. Um, so Spencer, what are you doing the next couple of weeks? Uh, I'm gonna be starting on the three seasons room, uh, trying to get. You're living down here. Yes, I'm gonna be living down here until I absolutely cannot anymore. So there's a good chance I'll be uh, calling in a helicopter or an airboat, <laughs> yeah. but uh, it's gonna be good. And you're leaving tomorrow with I'm, the friendship. My last day is tomorrow. Are you driving the friendship? Uh, I might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to drive. Uh... For a little ways, are maybe you, in open water. Are you coming back this winter? Or do we have to buy you a snow machine? Yeah, you'd have to buy a snow machine. Okay, we'll talk. All right, Josh, we gotta bring the chair in. This part of the show is sponsored by Valencia uh, Luxury Seating. Um, these chairs look unbelievable. They've got lights, they've got charging ports, they've got a lot. Yeah, we're gonna take them out of the box because the box doesn't fit through the hallway here. Oh, I hate touching styrofoam. That is gross. You have a thing with styrofoam? Oh. Not good. Do you actually not like styrofoam? Well, just the squeaky. Oh, I just thought about it squeaking and it bothered me. It's like all Western. It's got yeah. like triple stitching. Okay, yeah, let's just drag it. Oh I God. feel like there's, this is not coming through that door. We're fitting it through. Gotta pull the hinges off. Valencia. Metal there, that's crazy. This is the Luca. We got two of them. And this is gonna be, uh, well, they're luxury seats, so pretty luxurious. Look at the plugins on this thing. Oh, buttons in the way. Look at look at the buttons in the charger on the side. That's good. And check this out. Storage. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Beer cooler. Okay. Now that back piece latches onto here. Okay. Plug in the thing and the plug in there. Yeah. We'll slide it in first. Yeah. I heard yeah, a noise. Yeah. Did the thing. Oh. Hold on. What does this do? Look at this. Oh hey. Oh. Hold. Can hold. And there's lights in there. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to plug this thing in. We've got storage on either side. We've got a phone, honestly, the phone charger. It's got lights on the bottom. We're gonna fire this up yet tonight, but. Okay, oh. I'm gonna press a button. <laughs> she glows. Okay, you can plug it back in. The ground glows. Oh, motorized. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sleeping here tonight, boys. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a luxury chair. It's got the lumbar support. Put your remote in there. Man, these are gonna be uh, Unreal. a nice touch. Yeah, wow. Lumber store. I thought there was gonna be some setup involved. Basically no setup involved. Just luxury in a box. This is nice. Um, we are gonna move the second chair in later tonight yet, but we are uh, burning some of our leftover um, scraps, wood scraps. wood scraps tonight. So we're having a bonfire with the boys. That is gonna be the next. And, and Josh has some food cooking. I think we're doing some barbecuing, but this chair is beautiful. Oh. Valencia, I will link them below. Amazing, we got two of them here. All right, let's go see what the boys are up to. Oh man, things are happening. <laughs> in the arms of <laughs> through that like outdoor stuff and all that jazz oh what are we doing we're filming why are you letting scotty cook why he's just manning we're 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 doing a cooking lesson here yeah and what are you teaching him uh oh shoot <laughs> so far we haven't learned anything <laughs> what what okay point tell me what we got here josh all right we've got this long thing here is uh bear chorizo bear chorizo and venison uh italian sausage okay and that that is just a pepperoni. Okay, a pepperoni, and that? That is a burger that came from a box. Uh, from Safeway. Cabin. From Safeways. Yeah. Okay, cool. Safeways or Safeway? I like I like adding the Z on the end of my <laughs> Safeway. So we're going with Safeways. This uh, this is good. Yeah. Good good meat haul. Yeah, big old meat haul here. Good morning. Well, today is a sad day. Uncle Mark is going home. Uh, Spencer is going to stay a little more time here, but we're moving Mark out for now. The bays are freezing all around us. This this is end times for sure. I'm gonna give you an update of what Mark has done in the last little bit. Well, obviously things are looking fantastic. We're gonna help start loading stuff into the boat. We got the friendship warming up. We got a heater inside of the underneath to uh, to warm that up so we can start the engine. That hasn't been started in a while, so we need to get it unstuck. It is stuck once again. A sad morning, bittersweet, but uh, it was fun spending spending the first night in the cabin. Other than sleeping on the floor, I will like having a bed to sleep on. But Mark slept on the floor too. <laughs> yeah, don't push right there. <laughs> get that, get that head of that through and then drill it from the other What are we doing, Mark? We're installing a uh, deadbolt. Courtesy of Keystone. Courtesy of Keystone. Yes, they're very nice. Over Shout out to Keystone. They Security, were, uh, locks, all that good stuff. Locksmiths, they've uh, helped me out once or twice when I got locked out of my house. So yeah, check out Keystone and Kenora. You yeah, they're me. very helpful. They are great people. And they cut all the keys we needed too. When you go like All right, this, we're gonna leave you guys at it. You Did you stay up too late last night? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna go put some diesel in the Friendship. We're struggling with the door. I'm not sure that the lock, should have read the instructions a little closer, but the Friendship has been warming up with the generator and the heater. Isn't it crazy we haven't driven this thing since the day we bought it? Yeah. Is it two Pretty separate sure. tanks? Yeah, there are two tanks. The one with the zip tie, I don't think it's used. Do you remember? It's been a while. This yeah. is flashback to like, Couple videos ago. Yeah, last time I saw Ernie. So you turn it on. So we're gonna hold that for a while. Give her a try. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. Is that it running already? Yeah. Here we go. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah, that started awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the good news is the friendship's running. The bad news, she's still stuck. So we're gonna try to pull her off. We got our gear to unload. By unload, I mean load back in our boats. It's just sad and happy. I mean, obviously I haven't spent as much time down at the outpost as some of these guys, but it's been a way bigger undertaking than I ever. I know I've said this multiple times, way bigger undertaking than I imagined, a way bigger cabin than we planned on building. It's, uh, it's pretty special spending the first night here. Had a good time with the guys. Burnt off all of our scrap wood pieces. Yeah, next time we come back, it'll be, it'll be winter. But uh, Spencer is staying for a bit yet. Yeah, the Friendship will be parked at Lake of the Woods Marina for the winter. We'll hopefully do some work on it. But uh, we'll go see what the guys are up to in the, in the cabin here. Look at that. So that camera right there is gonna give us the lake view. So I'm gonna be checking it and I will see the day. Eventually I wanna have that camera available so people can like watch it online. But I think it'd be cool to, uh, yeah, to be able to see when the lake freezes. I just remember right here is where the cabin. First day. Right here. This is flashback. <laughs> this is ours. A little slice of heaven. Wow. What do you think, Scott? Oh, it feels pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. And you're coming along. Mm -hmm. 
Mark, look at this cabin that you masterminded. I was only a very small part of a very large endeavor. So originally when we talked to you, we said we want you for two days a week. <laughs> Do you remember that conversation? <laughs> yeah, part time I think was the word that was used, yeah. How many nights do you think you spent down here? Was it four months times four? So, yeah. That's a lot of days. 120? I don't know. Wow. I wasn't keeping track. But look at this. Just enjoying it. It's a beautiful spot. It is a pretty cool spot. Our, uh, are you going to come back and help us finish it off? Yeah. He says he's going to. Yeah, so. yeah. You want me to. We'd love you to. So what's going on here though? Talk about this. Oh, this is, uh, this is the deck. 25, 30, 30 foot by 16 foot deck. It's going to be a big deck. So these are the, yeah. what do you call these things? These are ground screws. Yeah. And they're all in so that we can come back this winter and actually nice. build the deck. That'll be sweet. So. Well, I'm going to do one more look around yet to show you guys what else has changed. Not, not too much in the front. The deck's going to be amazing. This will be like one of the big hangout spots. Sit in the morning, look at the lake. We've got the pit here, which we're eventually going to do some black earth, some grass on top of. That's the leaching pit, the gray water field, I guess you call it. We also have this AC unit that's going to get installed at some point. Shout out Michael Tully. Yeah, we got lots of propane. So right now we've got the 200 pounders hooked up. We've got some 20 pounders we're going to burn through. We are getting an electric heater next week, but it's kind of a, a game we're trying to figure out if the electric heater and the solar will be able to keep the mechanical room above freezing. Otherwise, we'll have propane as a backup. Um, so that'll be good. Three seasons room, very close to done. That'll be Spencer's baby. Um, yeah, his goal will be to finish the siding on this. You can see the back bay over here. This is where we shot some ducks, is freezing up. And then we got our old town canoe. That's been very nice for hunting. The guys caught a bunch of sweet fish out of it. Didn't, didn't do any much or filming out of it, but Old Town has been a huge partner on my channel. And I guess I'm gonna announce it right now because I think this is, this is something that I thought about after doing a, a fly-in kayak trip earlier this summer, if you guys saw those videos, is we are going to have four, four pedal drive Old Town kayaks. We're gonna have the 120 PDLs, which is just, they're 12 feet. They're amazing. I, I think what's so cool about that is they're gonna be included with the rental here. So it's not gonna be any extra charge. So if you wanna come here without a boat, you've got four fishing kayaks to use. There's great fishing within sight of the cabin. I, I think this will just open it up to people that don't have a boat, don't have access to a boat, maybe a family crew that wants to you know, dip their feet into fishing, or maybe they're just not on a hardcore fishing trip and they wanna go hiking, enjoy nature, and do a little bit of fishing. Four pedal drive kayaks. That is like such a big win. I was so excited to tell the other guys that, that that's what we were getting. So we're gonna build a, a nice little storage area here. I love fishing kayaks and I, I think it's just, uh, it gives you a different type of trip um, that I, I haven't really seen offered anywhere other than that flying trip I did to Shining Falls. There isn't too many places that is like a, a fishing cabin or lodge that has pedal drive kayaks. So I, I think uh, I think that's gonna be a pretty cool bonus that is just included with the cabin rental. But cabin here, this deck is coming out five feet, like I said, and then wrapping around the front. I'm not sure, I'm gonna, we'll give you, give you another look in, inside. It's a, it's a mess right now, and I, I was hoping, you know, to have that final video with all the touches finished, but it's it's gonna be a while yet. We definitely got so much of it done. It is so close, um, but I think it might be this winter once it's buttoned up and I can give that final reveal and everything. But these chairs, as our new addition, as we put together last night, Valencia, the Luca chair, so good. That that's It's like, uh, you know, it's a bit of work to get them down here, but they are stunning chairs, and uh, I think there's gonna be many mornings on these chairs by the fire looking out the lake yeah countertops yeah there's just so many things that came together the regency stove we fired that up yesterday for the first time did some small fires to break it in per the instructions and uh i couldn't believe the heat that thing threw and how long the wood burnt for so like i said right now it's kind of a mess kind of a work in progress and i think it's gonna be a work in progress for a while because there's just so many different steps but uh yeah the flooring marcus alberton he hooked us up with this flooring, helped us find some some amazing, amazing flooring for the cabin and uh, this stuff's super durable. Bedroom, basically done, we might seal up the top a bit, but that propane heater will definitely heat it if we don't want to start a fire. Or the, sorry, the closet, tongue and groove, looks good. Bathroom, we still need to do some lighting in here. We'll go to Three Seasons room quickly. Pretty sealed up now, hopefully Spencer can put the doors in, we can get that cleaned up. And then we've got the mechanical room, which definitely still, everything, everything needs a little bit of work, but it's close. Once again, we we're hoping to turn the water system on to not get to that e-water store. Our guy, Gary, we're going to meet up for a FaceTime call yet and turn that water system on, but we are not quite there. 
But um, yeah, her solar is charging, as you can tell by those flashing batteries. Solar is charging the Dakota Lithiums. This dock is going to claim somebody yet. What do you think, Zach? Think you'll come back? For sure. A group of friends, I was telling Scotty, like all my friends and people I've met from all walks of life all around the world, yeah. I think this would be a great place to come and meet up. Yeah. Wow, it's moving. So is it not stuck at all? Well, it looks like the boat was floating as soon as you kicked into reverse. This is amazing. There goes the friendship. Is this the first time Mark is driving it? It'll buff out. Pretty cool seeing the friendship take off there. It wasn't nearly as stuck as we thought, but man. Oh man, I'm just thinking back to when we snowmobiled in last winter. And uh, it, was, it was a crazy dream. And it, uh, it took a village to get to where we're at now. The, the thank yous will keep coming for a long time. The cabin's not done yet. You know, my thought was we'd have it done right at the end of freeze up, but you know, everything takes longer than you expect with building, especially for the fact that for me, Scotty Spencer, this, is, uh, this isn't our main gig building this lodge. It's gonna be, you know, one of a few businesses that I'm a part of, but uh, next summer will be a very different feel and finally get a share with you guys. So as I've said a couple times, um, it will be open in the springtime. I don't know how we're gonna do bookings completely yet. Um, we're thinking it's gonna be week long rentals only just for the fact of the logistics of getting people down here cleaning turning over the cabin i know it might not be ideal for everyone you know some people might want two or three day rental but for how remote it is and everything i think we're gonna have to do week only and i mean if there's openings in the season if it doesn't book up full then that's great because then me scotty spencer can take our families down here and enjoy it. and that's one of the main reasons it's not just to you know rent it out it's to enjoy it ourselves and to create content and that's definitely going to start this fall already doing some ice fishing videos out of here but yeah, we're gonna get the Alumacraft fired up. The Alumacraft was such a perfect boat for this summer, going from the 18 to the 20 footer, for hauling lots of people, for hauling lots of gear. Um, we had like seven people walleye jigging in there. Uh, yeah, it was it was a beast. So anyways, I'm gonna fire the boat up. We're gonna pull up to the dock and we're gonna load up the last couple pieces of gear. And maybe Josh will come back sometime. Yeah, I'll come back and cook. If you wanna, you know, go on the website and click that special button. Once the website's ready for Mark's outpost, there's gonna be a little link. Camp Catch and Cook. And you can, yeah. We uh, we will at some point, I, I, I can say this is pretty safely, Josh and I will do some sort of hosted event where you can come hang out with us, do some fish and some cooking together. Yeah, that, that'll definitely be on, oh, on the table at some point. Top of the list. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get packed up. All right, next time you see us, we'll be here by sled. Thanks for Josh for coming and cooking. Glad I could show him the place finally. Spencer is staying here for a couple days, so there may be some cell phone updates from Spencer. He's trying to shoot a big deer. He's gonna stay here till the bitter end, but we're heading the Alumacraft and we're probably gonna pass the friendship on the way home. Yeah, guys, thank you for following along on the journey. Got to meet a lot of you guys at the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show. And a lot of you guys were, you know, excited about the cabin, excited about the videos. Thank you so much for following along. It is truly humbling. The real hero in all this is Uncle Mark. Love you, Uncle Mark. Thank you for dedicating your summer to this project. Yeah, can't wait to have Mark back and enjoy it a little bit. We will see you guys in a month. I'll still make fishing videos, just won't be at the cabin for a month. Relax. Alright, so having a little bit of a hard time getting the boat out, um, so my solution is going to be this chainsaw where you're going to cut a perimeter around the boat and see if that will break it loose. Um, but we'll see how it goes, Get, definitely getting a little, little worried about getting out of here. <laughs> 